Hey guys, and welcome back to Jordan vs. Life on the building side of life. Now today, we're going to be making something a little bit different. I'm going to start calling these my quick prepper builds. But today, we're going to be making some hard tech. Now I'll explain further in the video about what it is, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Also, if you like this type of content, do hit that subscribe button and the like button on this video. Let's jump into it. Alright guys, I'm going to start with the most simplest things. Sorry for the little shaking. We have our spoon. Our pizza cutter. Our big ass bowl. We have our water, shaking, shaking, shaking. We have our purpose flour. We have salt. We have a, a forget me stick, I mean a rolling pin. We have a cutting board. All right, now if you're really pressed for materials, the things you're not gonna need are This is it right here. That's all you're going to really need if you don't want to get all that extra stuff. That extra stuff's just going to be easier. Let's go ahead and get started. Guys, you're going to need a really sharp knife in case you don't want to use your pizza cutter. But that's fine. Just grab one of these puppies. I've gotten through many problems with these. These are honestly the best knives I've ever used. Alright guys, for this, you're going to want to go ahead and do two cups a flour, doesn't have to be exact, then one cup of water, or a little bit less, depending on how much you want. There's a certain consistency we're looking here. We're looking for the consistency of Play-Doh. It isn't sticky. So now, we take our stir stick, spoon, and just start mixing it up. You see how it's starting to get like this? It's not exactly what we want. But it's a start. I like to get it like this first whenever I make it. Just so I don't add too much water and then I have to add more this and then more water. It's like pancake mix, you know? You add pancake mix, you add the water, you add too much water, so you add more pancake mix. Well, you added too much pancake mix, so you add more water. And it's just a vicious cycle until you end up feeding the whole damn neighborhood pancakes. I don't know, that look right. There's no exact measurements here. Just like life. Alright, this is starting to get where you need it to be. Now the fun part of just taking it with your hand and just moving it around. You're trying to make sure you get it all evenly coated with flour. You're just making dough. Need to add more flour. Just kind of work it in. See, what I like to do to make sure it gets all even, I like to break it up some. Just get that exposed part in the middle that isn't getting it. And just kind of mix it up like that. Just squeeze your hand in it. Really helps get the middle parts out. Some people like to take it and they'll just fold it over like that. I mean, whatever really works for you. But 
But once you get it to the consistency you want of Play-Doh, we'll be good. Also, a little tip, preheat your oven. I forgot to do that. You're going to want to set it into 350. And so while I'm getting this ready, just by moving it around, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and we'll be right back. All right. So whenever you get your dough done and the texture you want, take a little bit of flour and whatever you're using for your cutting board or whatever. You could be using just a regular countertop, but I don't feel like cleaning all that shit up. Take your flour. The reason you put your flour on here is so it doesn't stick, see? You wear it out a little bit with your hands. Then you take your stick and you start rolling it out. Most people make this about a half an inch or a quarter of an inch. Last time I made this, well, actually my first time I made this, I fucked up. And I made it too thin. So whenever I went in there to cook it, I burnt the hell out of it. I was like, mmm, I wonder how this tastes. I didn't expect much to taste. Didn't expect it to taste too good. Just kind of like dough. Or cracker or whatever. And that shit was burnt. Oh my god, it was horrible. So just try to keep an eye on your thickness. I think I'm probably going to leave it around this thickness right here. Maybe a little bit less. Just because I don't want to risk burning it again. Now whenever you're done, take your pizza cutter, you can use a little shape cutter if you want, like a cookie cutter, or you can just take your almighty knife over here, use that too, but pizza cutter is going to be easier. You just want to cut off the sides. I'm just going to make mine square, you can cut yours however you want. I'm just making mine square because Spongebob Squarepants and you know. Can't argue with a god. Then I'm just gonna set these over here for later. I'm still gonna use those, don't worry. Too poor to be wasting. And then I'm just gonna cut it in half like that. That's an ugly little good one right there. Now, you take your utility pencil and you start poking holes in it. Oh shit, my sword evolved. But yeah, you just go back and you start poking holes in it. And the reason you poke holes in it is so that whenever you're baking it, it dries out completely and becomes the hardness that we need. Like on the hard tack, which is what we're making. But yeah, if you didn't poke the holes in it, it wouldn't become hard like you need it to be. And you'd basically be making, I don't know, whatever the hell you make whenever you make water and flour with no holes in it. I don't know if that's bread. I don't know how to make bread. Someone in the comments tell me what the hell that makes. Because I have no idea. You don't have to make a ton of them. Just make sure you get enough and make sure they go all the way through like that.
Now that you're done, you take your pieces, throw them on the pan, boom pan pal, throw them in the oven. Alright guys, I go ahead and set your oven to 350. Like so. Then wait for it to preheat. Because you forgot to do it like I did. Hey guys, while the oven's preheating, I want to go ahead and give y'all a little update. If y'all been wondering about where the gaming side of life is, if any of y'all have actually been interested in that side, it's actually on Twitch right now under the same name, Jordan vs. Life. As far as my weekly updates have been going, it's pretty obvious I've been able to keep them up. So, I've decided to make a whole list of projects that I have planned out now. Some of them are actually going to take a little bit longer than one week, maybe two weeks max, though. That's it. So, I will let y'all guys know whenever I have an idea or a plan, and I'll let you go know if it's going to be uh, one week, one week, or if it's going to be two weeks. But yeah, I also have a new section of my videos coming out called Quick Prepper Builds. It's for preppers who watch this channel, if any of them do. And it's going to be more sorted for them. Also, if any of y'all would like to watch, if y'all are just interested or something y'all see over there just catches your fancy, go ahead and take a peek. But without that, my oven's preheated. Let's get to work. Alright guys, so whenever you put these in the oven, you're going to leave them in there for 30 minutes. Then, after your 30 minutes goes off, you pull them out, flip them over, and then put them back in there for another 30. Alright guys, so while you're waiting for your timer to go off to flip them over, why don't you go and check out some of my other videos that I have on my channel. Alright guys, when you get out of the oven, just go ahead and flip it over. For the younger people, I would recommend doing this with a parent. And if you're an older person, I would recommend using a spatula. Then throw it back in there for 30 more minutes and watch more of my videos. Alright guys, and now that these have just come out of the oven, we're going to go ahead and turn the oven off. Off. These are looking pretty good. Nice and hard. I'm going to get demonetized for that. Oh, fuck that's hot. I'm going to wait for these to cool down, we're going to do a little taste test. Also, if you watched one of my videos while you were waiting, you may have a brownie. Take one. They're done. I've taste tested one off camera, and they taste like shit. Well, uh, not shit exactly, but they taste like plain. They taste just plain. I forgot to add salt. But yeah, now they're basically ready to be thrown in a Ziploc bag. And thrown <coughs> into your book. Into your bug out bag. Alright, guys, and now that they're done and you're ready to go pass these off as sugar cookies at a fat kid bake sale, we're gonna go and end the video here. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, also subscribe if you want to. But without further ado, peace.